We talk about my buddy Alan Johnson. Y'all need to give Al out a call. You got mold anywhere in your house, crack, brick, whatever you got, they need to go up under there. He can show it to you as he's up under there too. Check it on everything. Foundation problems, give Al out a call. 221-4608. Call him right now. Wake him up. He'll be with us maybe one day later this week. Hey, they got a big deal coming in Decatur this week. Let me show you this ship right here. This here is the authentic ship. It's the only one remaining, I think. World War II, Tom, on D-Day, this ship is the one that carried the tanks and stuff. A ship that played a vital role in the Allied conquest of Germany in World War II was sailed down the Tennessee River this Wednesday and land in Decatur. It was designed to land tanks, troops, and supplies directly onto enemy shores. It is called the LST-325, and it costs to go on. You can get a whole tour on it. It's about $10 a piece, but this is like one of a kind left. Hmm. It is based out of Evansville, Indiana. But the thing made 40 trips to Normandy from England, transporting troops and tanks to the beachhead. 40 trips. 40 trips, man, back like in World War II. Yeah. You don't see many things like that anymore. That'd no. be something to go see. But that's going to be in Decatur Wednesday. You know, Tom, I've been telling you I need to downsize. Mm -hmm. Well, in Texas, they've a passed laws to allow it. These houses are about 500 square feet. Right. And um, you can just hook them up. You talk about a trailer. My shoes you just hook it up. I don't know if they put them on foundations or not. Way south, Tech, the, the West Texas town, and that's what it's called, West Texas town, is believed the first place in the USA to allow homes smaller than 500 square feet anywhere with its in its boundaries. Hmm. That's and thousands terrible. of these tiny homes are popping up across the country. Stick a bunch of those at the river. Yeah, ran them blow out. away. <laughs> hey, I was gone this weekend, but they had the Trinity had their big parade downtown. They have that every two years. Did you go? No, I didn't. You know, they always have a parade down that way. So uh, I thought the mayor might be with us this morning to talk about it. But I guess Ronnie is sleeping in since uh, there's a picture of him in the paper. Two superheroes joined cancer fight. Mm -hmm. So I think they got a big, uh, Mayor, Mayor Ronnie Marks uh, oh, declares September Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. So there you go. There you, was Sydney who came on the show with the beads, the yeah. little girl. Okay, sir. Yeah, so well, did you watch good. the Bama game? I did. What did you think? Well, I got a lot of work to do, <laughs> but uh, I was... It was, it was better it was the good, second yeah. time I saw it, but I mean that team we played was pretty good. Our defense was pathetic, but they'll get the hang of it mm. and do better. I thought Sam's did good. Yeah, he did good. He, he did a good job. He did pretty good. Yeah. The game this week is at 11 o'clock on SEC Network. All right, what is this video we're about to see? It's Baby Got Class. This is a you know, family. There's a song. There's a playoff. Baby Got Back. This family shot it's really this. Cute. They did. Uh, put it together Pretty and clever. did a great job on it. <laughs> so we'll take that to break. Y'all hang on. <laughs> That bus summer was so long, all day long. Give me a snack, give me a snack, give me a snack. I can't believe school is back. I like big buses, I cannot lie. Some other parents may deny, but when a big yellow one comes around the bend and picks up our children, we get sprung. Cause vacation, we didn't get anything done. Cause childcare is expensive, so we're working and we're with them. Oh baby, I'm gonna miss ya, so let me kiss ya. But then go home and try it. Just sit there, cause it's a fight. Ugh, summertime's nice. Kayaks and water slides. Ben Charles finally learned to swim and Lola read to him. But we were packed in like sardines for hours in this thing. Take the average child and ask them that. I kinda wanna go back. So, fellas. Yeah. Fellas. Yeah. Did your mom make a healthy lunch? Oh, yeah. Tell her to make it. Make it. Make it. Make, it. make that healthy lunch. Baby got class. Baby got class. I like them round and big. Backpacks for my kids, they gotta wait a ton. Cause this shopping list is not fun. We gotta buy this all for two, double up, uh, uh. I ain't talking about this thing, cause the binder has to have three rings. They want them real thick and juicy. That pack of pink erasers and all the papers. These specific spacers, this says two pocket folders. Is that two folders or two pockets in the folder? And I gotta be straight when I say I'm like, oh, what's a folder? 
Now for books, I want to hit and quit it. But I got to stay and pay, and the line is long, and it's strong. But I'm down to get the fiction on. So, ladies, yeah, ladies, yeah. You want to roll my Mercedes? Yeah. Well, I don't have one. Can't afford one. And the kids would totally mess it up in one day. Baby got class. Baby got class. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mommy, I, I, I thought my lunch was going to be in a different bag. And back here on this Tuesday morning, all right, all you bow hunters, deer hunters, whatever, you need to go to Mobile Attic, Highway 72 West, Check or give out. Betty a call, 216-0237. They're going to bring us one of these things. These are them high-class deer hunters. Deer things. blinds. Deer blinds, Tom. Mm -hmm. Get you one Hunting today. Blinds, they got them out there. You can see them on the Outdoor Channel. They've got them out there on display out at Mobile Attic, Highway 72 West. Now's the time to get one. I guess they'll deliver it to you and everything. So the more you buy, the cheaper they are. Yeah, I get you one there. Very, you know, we're gonna bring one up here and demonstrate it one morning, and just leave it there where we can spy on people that live <laughs> next door to it. <laughs> All right, over in Austria, over in Austria, okay. they got a mountain that's seven thousand feet high. A lot of people go hiking. Oh. Uh, this one lady went hiking, took a helicopter and seven people to rescue her. Mm. Why not seven? More than that. She's 23 years old, wearing flip flops. Are you kidding? Flip flops. Uh, she should have to pay for that rescue for stupidity. Yep. So yeah, they found her. Well, you know, she was not dressed well correctly and did not even have any warm clothing. But they had to have bunches of people were sent out there to rescue this idiot who was wearing flip flops. To climb oh, the mountain. It's like the other day I'm watching that Ferguson ride and, and the people show up to support the policeman. They show up and the woman's got flip flops on. <laughs> if I was going to be in a place like that, I'm having some running shoes on. Mm -hmm. mm. And pants or boots. that stay up. Or, you know, something to get out of the way of some quick. possible, huh? Yeah. And pants anything, that stay up. Anything <laughs> quick. Hey, tomorrow, Dee Lauderdale will be back with us. Dee's daughter got married Sunday yeah. down in uh, Sunday down in Tuscaloosa, so we'll hear about that to come that down tomorrow. That was a big day. I guess Seth will be with us. Yeah, trying to get back up the last holiday. Thank you, folks, too, for wishing me a happy birthday. I turned 47 this past yeah, again. Saturday. Again. Well, I got to say, I had a great time. Went to the game. Gloria purchased me four tickets. So I took my homies along with me. We went down that way and uh, to Atlanta. Got back around 11 o'clock. That, there's me. Uh-huh. We see how early we got there. We were waiting for them to open the door. It was so hot down there. So I'm going stand there enjoying some of that bald air. They had the doors open before we went through. So, you know. And you thought that guy was a clown. They just had some ugly colors. I mean. Yes, they did. Yellow. He liked his hair. And black. Yeah. Yeah. Gloria said, where's that clown? She didn't even know what channel the game was on. That's beautiful. That's kind of. That's sad. You said 31. It was on 31. Well, usually but that ain't 31 on Charter. You got to go to a different <laughs> channel. I never get to touch a remote, so Evidently. I don't know what the station. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Zach was already complaining. Got to give a shout out to his parents this morning. The Virginian did not air yesterday. It was a Lucy marathon all day long yesterday. I enjoyed uh, some of those. those for a holiday, good. yeah. All day Lucy marathon. That was funny. I will let y'all know what else is coming up right now. I'm about ready to get out of here for the day. I got to rest up. I had a tough birthday weekend, <laughs> and if y'all need. Any work done around your house, I'm talking about construction, whatever, y'all need to call Heath Davis. Heath does a Great super job on remodeling everything. Good yes. folks to work with, all the people with him. Got to give a shout out to them. Heath Davis Construction, y'all yes. need to get in touch with them. They can do any, rem job. any remodeling job you got. <laughs> all right, the Shake sent us something the other day. I think yeah. Holly sent it. This is the four-minute version of them putting that Mercedes-Benz commercial together. Of course, they're all from East Limestone area, too. right here in this great county. I've never met any of them. No one of them's mama, but they <laughs> are awesome. You know her mama. Here's that video, and we'll get out of here for the day and see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Yes. All right, take three, Mark. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's that modal chord. <laughs> I think about the word evolution. I think about who I'm going to be 
in a month from now? Am I going to work to do something greater? Am I going to surprise myself? Where well, do you know how hard it is for me to talk to work the boys over in the back of my mind? Look at the vibe. Evolution, I believe, is always getting better in a way. So when I think about evolution, I think about hard work. If you're an artist, keep doing what's comfortable to you, because then, you know, people expect it. And there's always ways that you can grow and, uh, you know, experiment. One, two, three, three. One. I'm excited for the tour, the Evolution tour. It's, <laughs> it's, it's always fun to get out and play. <laughs> They've allowed us the opportunity to get in wonderful venues, you know, on a smaller scale, and that's something we really enjoy. Dude, I'm ready to let's get that thing out. Some creek, let's tear it up. I'm ready to <laughs> open that thing. Yeah, it's really exciting. Small venues are my favorite. You know what I mean? They're, it's like very visceral, and everybody's really feeling it, and they're getting into it. It's not like you're on a stage when you're supposed to sing and dance and, you know, impress people. It's like people are really getting into what you're talking about, and that's why I love small venues, and I'll always want to play small venues. Making Me Itch, kind of a song that Britney just come up with, and it seems like she was just playing it at practice one day, you know, rehearsal and something, and everybody's jumped in. One song might originate while we're just jamming together, you know, just playing together. And another song, I might be sitting around, I might be driving a car, and it's like, oh, oh, I got an idea. And I tried my best to get that idea down, like as a rough draft. I take it to the dudes and I'm like, hey, you think we can make this a song? And, and we all try our hand in it and uh, try to turn it into something better. Yeah, I don't think we've ever set out to have an, like an Alabama sound or anything like that. Alabama. But we're proud, you know, to have the name and, uh, do our best. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> this is my pocket. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Someone keep driving. Oh, I got me a Mercedes. Go check it out. The Brick in Decatur, that's where we played our first show. It was in May 2009, and I remember making a poster for it and everything. I was terrified to do it, but I was excited, you know, I was like thrilled. And it was over and people were clapping and they're like, what's, what was that? I was like, oh, we're the shakes, you know. And I thought that was going to be our last show. Now we're in my basement <laughs> in, in an interview. <laughs> I guess you didn't expect that. <laughs> no, <laughs> who does? <laughs> yeah, when I was a little kid, I was like, I can't wait to have basement interviews, you know. <laughs> Okay, I think that's a wrap. Yeah. Big yeah. shots in the glass. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Don't go to love me.